Hello, sports fans. It is I, Noma, back with another card opening video for your entertainment. Today, we've got kind of a random one. It's a 2021 Topps holiday box that I got from Dave and Adams. I just, you know, sometimes there'll be some random thing on sale that'll look fun to open. I do like this product. You're guaranteed a relic. Uh, you might get an autograph. Here are the odds. I'm a big fan of just fun stuff. You know, I think our hobby can be too serious sometimes. And one of the things that I love about this product is the fun of the holiday variations where you'll have someone with a Christmas necklace or you'll have someone with a, a swinging candy cane instead of a bat or whatever. Just a lot of fun. Oh, sweet. Right out of the gate. Awesome. IPC, Lou Bob. He's on pace for 40 jacks this year. How awesome is that? I don't really know how to put that on the stand, but we'll do our best. <clears throat> so, yeah, this will be a quick one. I believe there's 10 packs in here. And I'm not a big fan, personally, of the 2021 Tops design, just because the uh, name of the player is so small. It's a little bit hard to read, and I'm, I don't love that. But having said that, uh, like I said, it's a fun product, and sometimes they just have too much of something, and they'll just kind of blow it out. So, why not? I figure maybe we'll get lucky and hit an autograph, or maybe we'll get lucky and hit a cool variant. Uh, like I said, you are guaranteed a relic, and that's much more common. It's usually, like, <laughs> kind of a weird relic. Instead of, like, a game used, you'll get a photo session where they wore a Santa hat and then they'll they'll break up the Santa hat and put it into a relic card. So like I said, uh, this is not a super investable product. It's just a fun product and I'm excited to share this with you guys. So starting off, I have Trey, Adbert Alzale, now the closer for the Cubs. Didn't look like he was going to do much, and then he did. Stevenson, rookie. Jimenez, rookie. Nothing to write home about so far. This is not a huge set anyway. Even just the base of 2021 tops is pretty so-so. That's cool. Got a Juan Soto. Uh, all of them have this kind of... There's a Mount Castle rookie. All of them have this... Christmas themed background, which I think is fun, and the Christmas color scheme. I believe the variants show up backwards, so you don't have to look super duper hard. There's a Cunha. They just kind of show up. So I like this product. It's fun. I did used to buy it at Walmart. You know, unfortunately, living in northern Arizona, my uh, there's a Okay, so the variants are not always backwards because you can see Gallo's got the candy cane stripe there. So I need to really keep my eyes out and make sure I'm not missing anything. Vaughn, rookie. So my only option, now as you contrast the candy cane to the regular one, my only option if I want to get local cards now instead of ordering them online is to go to Flagstaff, Arizona, which is about an hour north of me. Because Cottonwood, which is only 30 minutes away, they decided to stop selling baseball cards. Apparently the store manager just decided it wasn't worth the trouble because of the people who, you know, get there during the restock and cause problems. Uh, let's see. Looks like the relic. Ooh, there's not an obvious relic in here. Yeah, there is. Okay, it's right at the top. I thought maybe we got lucky and got an autograph instead, but it doesn't look that way. So we'll put the uh, relic at the back. I thought that was Kalanick, but that's an Evan White rookie. So I used to love to go to Walmart. This is a Walmart exclusive product. I used to go to Walmart and like to buy this, but uh, there's another Mount Castle. Doesn't seem like anything is unusual about it. Looks like they're the same card. Oh, wait a minute, I'm wrong. So you do have to be careful because there's also these textured ones, even though this looks the same. This one is smooth on the right and this one on the left. I don't know if you guys can really see, but 
it has some texture to it. So that's actually the better card, the textured card. A uh, little lower print run on those. Anyway, uh, having to having to go all the way to Flagstaff, I'm more inclined to go to Target and get some good stuff out of there. Uh, there's another Acuna. There's, oh yeah, so again, I missed it. So this one that I already pulled is textured. The one on the left is not. So we do have to really keep an eye out and make sure we're getting all the variants. I'll go back through it one more time after this. Speaking of variants, there's Goldie. That's a pretty nice card. Goldie wearing the Santa hat. Some of these are short prints. Some are super short prints. I'll have to look that up after and see which one that is. If that's a super short print, I'll be very happy. I just got a glimpse of the relic and I'm pretty darn happy with it. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, there's a Kirilov rookie. I think I have a variant of that where he's holding a candy cane instead. Machado. But like I said, not a super valuable product, not an investable product. There's the big boy. But fun because I like seeing players wearing Santa hats and having candy cane sleeves on their wrist and having lights around their neck. I love Christmas. So, you know, it's just fun. Fun little rip. So I mentioned that I thought that was Kirilov and then when I saw this, I thought it was Kirilov. But guess what? Bum, 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 bum. There he is. And see, it says player worn memorabilia there. But it is a rookie. And it is, it looks like a jersey. It doesn't look like a hat. So I'm not quite sure the context of that, but definitely we'll take that card. So I am happy with this little rip. It was pretty much exactly what I expected. Had uh, the rookies out of this set, of which there are quite a few, had a couple of variations, and I'm happy with the relic. I don't think I've ever pulled an auto out of here. They do exist, but they're rare. Okay, so leading things off, we have the Lubob Chromium Christmas Ornament. Like that a lot. Trout, Kirilov rookie, Mount Castle base rookie, Juan Soto base, Acuna base, Vaughn base, Joey Gallo variant with the stripe, Mount Castle with the textured cards. I'm not sure quite exactly what that's called, but there's a little raised texture same with the Acuna. I'm thinking, depending on whether this is a short print or a super short, that this is probably the best card. <clears throat> Let's take a super quick look. I just want to check and, and see on eBay what this is. While we're paused here, I would like to encourage you to please like the video. Just takes a moment, if you don't mind. It really helps us to gain traction with the algorithm of YouTube. Also, if you wouldn't mind terribly, it would be great if you could please subscribe. I'm bringing you daily content. Uh, sure enough, that is just a variation. It's not a super short print. So not super valuable, but again, this was not for trying to hit a massive card. This was for bringing you 10 minutes of childlike Christmassy joy to your day, which it certainly has done for me. So last but not least, probably this is actually the best card in here. Nice relic of a top prospect who started to make good this year. Sorry about the lawnmower noise out there. This is, uh, he's slumping a little bit lately, but this is a good player who's gonna be good for a long time. So I'll take that. I mean, imagine 10 years from now, if he ends up being a Luis Robert level player or a Manny Machado level player, that's setting the bar pretty high, but he's got the potential and the pedigree. So never gonna be a hundred or $500 card, but you know, that's a $20 card, could be a $50 card if he really makes good. So I'm happy with that. I hope that you're having a fantastic day today. 
we're all about the positive vibes here on the Know My Loves Your channel. So stay positive. If you're having a hard day, please remember that all things pass in time. So there's no need to dwell on the challenges of the day. I am getting ready to go to work and I have some things ahead of me today that I am not stoked about. But I know that if I dwell on it, it will make it worse. So we're not going to dwell on it. We're going to be happy. We're going to look forward to more rips over the weekend. I am recording this on a Friday, although it probably won't post on a Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are having a great day. If you are, please enjoy the heck out of it. And again, if you're not, just a little encouragement. Keep watching baseball card videos. <laughs> Do some prayer and meditation. Get some exercise, some fresh air. Things will improve. Things always improve, as long as we don't make them worse. So, with no further ado, nice, tidy little 11-minute video. This one goes to 11. Please remember, no matter what's going on, no ma loves ya. And we'll see you tomorrow.